Hello, this site Satyam Jaiswal. Today we are going to discuss a project on OOPS concepts. Uh, the project said we have to design a coffin machine simulator. Here we have to create a read evaluation and print loop console app. This is a con totally a console app. The input should be taken in the console and the output should be present in the console. Okay. Here we have to design a coffee machine simulator, which has the future like it will contain the ingredients to make a coffee that is milk, water and coffee. Okay. We have to add this coffee machine ingredients. We have to fill this coffee machine with the ingredients like milk, water and coffee beans. Let's say our coffee machine can hold infinite amount of the all ingredients, but initially contains nothing. So our coffee machine will contain a infinite amount of ingredients but initially it has nothing no ingredient that have amount of every ingredient like milk water coffee beans are zero okay. our coffee will machine will also contain a money box okay in our coffee machine we have a money box where we will store all the money for selling the coffee but initially it is also empty okay there would be different types of coffee that can be selected, which ha will have separate prices and amounts of ingredients required. And so every coffee has different prices and different amount of ingredients required to make that coffee. Here, the data is given for espresso. The coffee price should be $4 per cup and the water needed should be 250 ml per cup and the milk needed 0 ml per cup and beans needed 16 per cup okay so latte price seven dollar per cup water needed 350 ml per cup and milk needed 75 ml per cup and beans needed 20 per cup okay for the cappuccino price is six dollar cup per cup and the water needed is 200 ml per cup okay we have to edit these these basic futures and there should have buy up buy option in our coffee machine simulator okay we have to add a buy option which enable the user to buy a coffee of their choice. The coffee would be different when it contains enough ingredients to make that coffee. Otherwise, it will show an error message. Okay, the coffee should be made if there is enough ingredients uh, required for the different types of coffees should be available in the machine. Only then we have can give the coffee to the buyer. Okay. And after the coffee is dispensed, money should be updated in our Oh, coffee machine okay there should be also fill option okay there should be a fill option to add the ingredients at the user specifies okay and also there is a option to take option okay which enable the maintainer to take the here we can take the money from the money box okay and also there is option to show how much ingredient that the coffee machine is left with okay and there is an exit option which is stop the simulation Okay, basically there is an object exit option. We have to run this uh, this program continuously so we can use future operators. Okay, let's come to our program. Here I have already designed the program. Okay, the package. Okay, import scanner class. We have we have added uh, water to our coffee machine simulator. Added milk attribute beans attribute money attribute okay this will store the water this will store the milk this will take care of the beans this will take care of the money and this will take care how much of espresso water needed and the espresso beans there is no need to add espresso milk because for preparing espresso water we don't need water for uh latte we have to water required we have a latte milk latte beans cappuccino water cappuccino milk cappuccino beans espresso price latte price cappuccino price espresso price and different espresso count how much espresso has uh, sold to show in the analytics so that we can show the analytics how much espresso has been sold how much latte has been sold and how much cappuccino had been sold and here we can also see what see the total earnings so we have to add a total earning attribute which will take care of the total money collected okay we have 
uh, initialize the constructor coffee machine simulator by initializing the water at the start should be zero, milk should be zero, beans should be zero, money should be zero. And the espresso water required, which is the quantity of different coffees, what they required, what the ingredients required. Here the price starts, espresso price, $4 per price per espresso per cup. Okay, $7 per cup, uh, $6 for cappuccino, $0 for espresso and the lot. Okay, sorry, sorry, my mistake. This is espresso count that is zero because in on initializing this coffee machine simulator, we have the count of the espresso uh, sold is zero, latte count is zero, and the total earning is also zero. Okay, we have run option where we when we call this coffee machine to run, it will initialize and ask for the user to take the input, and according to that input, the switch command will run where we have given the various options okay uh, this buy coffee buy coffee basically takes this input as a as a parameter okay so did we for that we have used the switch case okay also here we have selected and we have given a, a select option in our console First one is the buy coffee. For one, we have to buy coffee. Uh, buy coffee function should be called. Second, fill material. Third, take money. for so ingredient and money in machine. Fifth, for the analytics. Zero for exit. Okay. Case one, that is buy coffee. This will call the buy coffee method. Here, we have the buy coffee. And this will take the parameter what the user will enter. Okay, then we have the option to select a coffee type. Okay, because when we click on the buy coffee, we should have an option more. How, what type of coffee is available so that we can buy. With that, we have also associated the price because the price is fixed. So we have already initialized the price. Okay, here we have initialized the price. Espresso price, $4. Okay, like that, different coffee's price. And for back, we can just press zero okay make coffee this will make coffee espresso okay like listen here we have the coffee type according to the coffee which we choose the coffee will match okay if coffee dot type coffee type dot equals to espresso it will first and first check also check does the coffee machine has enough ingredients espresso water required milk and espresso beans we have defined this function okay here we have defined the function has an ingredient. It will check for the enough ingredients, required water, required milk, required return water greater than. Okay. And required water, we have added where, where it's gone. As espresso water, we have already defined how much water needed for espresso, how much bean has been decided. Needed for making the espresso coffee. Okay, it will check. It will not need milk, so it will put taken as zero. Okay, dispensing espresso enjoy, and also while dispensing the coffee, the espresso water should be subtracted from the water available in the machine as we have taken that to make the coffee. Okay, also, uh, espresso count should be increased because espresso has been sold, and the total earning should be also increased. Okay according to the espresso price like this we have to latte coffee and also like this similarly we can slice the cappuccino profit okay if there would not be available has enough ingredient for these types of coffee then it will go into this else condition and it will print insufficient ingredient to make coffee coffee type what the coffee is and please refill so our coffee is ready. Now we will fill ingredients. This will fill ingredients. Just add ingredients. Okay. This will take the input of the fill ingredients option. Option is that. And then we'll enter the amount of water added. Should be entered by the user. Water should be added as said in the question. And also like that, we can add the amount of milk. Okay. Milk should be added to our coffee machine. Like this beans added. Okay. Water is added after adding these 
the water should be added, milk should be added, and beans should be added to our the coffee machine. Okay, let's move to the third case. Third case, we have to take money. Okay, for taking the money from the coffee machine, if this function is called, so that total money should be collected by the owner. Okay, and money collected. Okay, money. This money is collected, and the money is now in a slice to zero as total money is collected by the user. Okay, in the case. Four. Let's move to the quiz four. This will show ingredients. That we have to show the ingredients available in our coffee machine. Like this, we have print the water available, milk available, beans available, and just money available. Just now, next uh, case is analytics. Here we have to show analytics. How much coffee? Uh, we we should show. The espresso count, latte count, and cappuccino count. How much these coffees has been sold? Okay, for this we have already defined the espresso count and increasing these counts. So this is easy to show. Okay, let's check espresso count, latte count, cappuccino count, and here also we have the total earnings and the total ingredients consumed. We have also added these functions in the analytics. How much ingredients has been consumed? Uh, that should be equal to espresso count in espresso water taken. Okay, how much espresso? This because you know, uh, this two supposed two espresso has been sold, then the water so uh, water emptied by the needed for that espresso should be equal to espresso water into espresso count. Like that, we have latte count into latte water and uh, cappuccino count into cappuccino water. Like that, we have different different milk for milk total milk consumed milk used for the latte cappuccino okay and for the beans here we have not added the espresso milk because espresso doesn't need milk to make the coffee like that we have the beans consumed for espresso count we have the espresso beans latte beans and cappuccino beans okay it will show the analytics. Next case is, I think it's so exiting the simulator. And if that we have the user had not selected any option in this, then it will say invalid command, please try again. So it will be put it into the default case. Okay. Let's run our program and check it working. Here we have the console. Okay. It is showing that select an op option that is buy coffee, fill materials, take money. Let's first buy coffee and see because initially there is no ingredients available to make coffee. So let's see what it's saying. Insufficient ingredients to make espresso. Please refill. Okay. Now we will fill materials to make the coffee. Let's water to be added. Let's add 1000 water. Names added should be 500 and 200 beans should be added. Now, 200 beans had been added. Okay. Sorry, we have clicked the option. Okay. Now we have to buy the coffee. Okay. Buy coffee. Uh, buy. Please select a coffee type. Let's buy espresso. Okay, espresso has been dispensed. Now enjoy. Let's so let's see whether the materials have been subtracted for making the espresso. Let's for checking the ingredient, we should use this, and also we can see the money in machine. Okay, fourth option. We can see water remaining. We have added 1000 and 250 ml has been used for making the coffee, espresso coffee, and that like that milk has not been used for making the espresso and beans has been used. And also money has been collected for rupees. Okay, let's see the analytics. Here we can espresso, one espresso has been sold, latte has been sold, zero, cappuccino has. Let's buy latte and then see whether latte. Dispensing latte, latte has been uh, well, sold. So let's check 
the ingredients and money whether money has been increased or not yo money water available water has been subtracted for making the latte and then milk has been also subtracted for making the latte and beans and been used and the money has been increased let see the analytics espresso sold one one latte has been sold total earning is 11 and the total ingredients consumed here we can see how much ingredients has been consumed for preparing the coffee uh let's check uh, let's take the money okay money collected 11 let's see whether the money has been sub now remaining to zero in the coffee machine here we can see money in the coffee machine is zero so we see all the functions are working fine now we can exit our coffee machine simulator okay zero. for that we should enter zero exiting the simulator now we can say our our program is working fine that's all thank you